Hello and thank you for tuning in my first letter video. <clears throat> Today we will be talking about American letters, most of which happened with V-mail. V-mail was sort of victory mail that uh, soldiers would send home and well, basically they V-mail would be lithographed, brought down to a smaller size, sent back home and then reblown up to about 60% of its size. It was a way to allow the U.S. to ship all the mail the soldiers had back home and keep it relatively cheap. This right here is not V-mail itself. This is a soldier. It's sort of unique because it has a soldier's name on the letterhead along with the infantry division he was with, along with the, or the infantry regiment he was with, correction, and the division that he was with. So this letter is from Gerald F. Young to, sounds like, one of his... Uh, sisters, cousins, maybe a lover, but he was in the 405th Infantry, 102nd Division. It was July 7th, 1945. On July 7th, when he was writing this uh, letter, it was a Saturday, and that is when uh, Jap Japan and their soldiers in Burma carried out the Kalong Massacre. So he was on one side of the world as the war was ending, while the other side of the world was desperately clinging on to a little hope before the atomic bombs were dropped. And he is in Egenheim, Germany. So, as continuing, Hi Doris, as per requested, some pictures, some good, some no good, and then just some. We are in Bra <coughs> Bavaria. Now about 23 miles from the Austrian border. I really didn't have the slightest idea how long we will be here, where we will go, when we will leave, or much of anything. We are waiting for the 90th and the 83rd divisions, two more out than we are going to take their occupational duties. How is Betty coming? I haven't heard much news from her lately. Say now. I've sent you a few pictures. How about a few from you? I'd sure like some. I must close for now, as I have a lot of letters to catch up on. Love to all, Jerry. So, as I said in the, the intro video, a lot of these letters don't have too much uh, context behind them. A lot of them either got censored, and the soldiers knew they get censored, so a lot of stuff wasn't readily available. But from here, you know where he was what he was doing, what units he was replacing, or going to have replace him. And I sadly don't have the pictures that were originally associated with the letter, but, you know, taking pictures, showing that, you know, he was in Europe. It, uh, it really puts a perspective on this individual's life and who he was. Even if, you know, it doesn't talk about anything majorly spectacular, it still shows, you know, he was a human, he was trying to enjoy Germany. He was close to Austria. The war basically in Germany had ended. I mean, things were about to happen in a little, f in a few days, not a few days, a few weeks, the bombing of Hiroshima would happen. And this guy in the middle of life-changing events stationed in Germany after the fall of Berlin, uh, in the post dam conference coming up, you know, didn't know what he was probably doing and wanted more information and wanted to be back home with his loved ones. So, again, uh, I hopefully will be able to bring you more letters and more letters I hopefully will be able to read. But this is the first of many. One thing that I do have to point out is if you are looking on the screen, there is uh, the cursive that these guys wrote in. A lot of times back then, uh, it was frowned upon to type up letters. It didn't show personality, it didn't show that you actually gave your time to write something nice and beautiful for someone. But the problem with the cursive, especially if you go into German cursive, which we'll talk about in another video, is that cursive is different for everybody. So if you look at no for the no good part, or the and, you can tell, you can tell that it takes a little bit to read and understand the words. Uh, the, the D is separated, the N has an extra bump, it seems, or it looks sort of like a V. It's, it's sort of tricky sometimes, especially with other languages in that sense. So sometimes it takes a second to understand and read these things, and people don't sadly seem to enjoy the time to 
try deciphering what these people were saying, whether or not it be the beautiful war secrets that people always are hoping for, or just an everyday perspective on someone's life. Hopefully you all did enjoy the letter, and hopefully I can continue with more. You guys have a wonderful day, and if it's nighttime, a blessed night. And this is me signing off. Goodbye, good day, and good night.